Here's our new bore. Come on, boy. There's a bucket there. Come on, wander down, see if we go the right way. Blind side of on this shower, we should keep going for it. Go on. Good boy. A bit muddy in the gateway, but it's good when you get in. Give him a bit of doggy down here. More than what you need there, boy. Just there, because if he decides to get out, he'll perhaps go to it. There he is. Not had a boar for a little while. Have we managed not to have a boar? Well, if we wanted a litter of pigs, we could use a, a young boar out of one of the wiener pens, out of one of the fat pens, sorry, not wiener pens, across. But he is a full Gloucester. So different ways a Gloucester can be. So he's pedigree, but he's not registered. So not registered means that he can't be bred from to produce more pedigree pigs. So he is just a spotty pig. <laughs> Um, Bramber B. Old Spots are just spotty pigs because I don't want to pay the registration to the British Pig Association. And I can mix it up a little bit and use something slightly different if I feel it'll benefit the pigs and the way that we farm. So for a little while we haven't had a boar and we were looking for a boar so this fella's come along. So Gloucester boars come in four with four different names you get. A Sambo, a Rufus, a Patrick or a Gerald. I've always thirsty, must be a long journey. Um, so for a, I don't know what he is, so if anybody wants to name him, he'll either be Sambo, Patrick, Rufus or Gerald, and we'll put a name name board up on his um, pen gate. One of them spots there looks like a love heart, doesn't it? It's... Um, but rearing pigs at the minute is a really tight, non-profitable thing. So this pig, say, he'll kill out 60 kilos. So say he's worth oh, £2.50 a kilo, making him £150, say, worth of, worth of meat if he was hanging up. He's probably cost at a... Um, had a guess, he's probably cost £250 to get into the size he is there. So you're going to lose £100 minimum on rearing that type of pig at the moment. And then you've got, for us, if we're taken to the abattoir, we've got to get into the abattoir, which is an hour and 30, hour and 40 minute round trip. Well, really, it ends up being a lot longer by the time you've loaded animals, been to the abattoir, unloaded animals. Then you've got sometimes wait in the queue, get back, I have a full English breakfast on the way, obviously. So then if he's worth £150, you've got £25 as well to have him killed um, and be inspected so he meets all the UK standards. So he's going to cost us anywhere between £5 and £10 to do the transport on our morning's wages by the time we've got a trailer load backwards and forwards. So at bringing him up to sort of £3, £3.20 a kilo... You're losing well over a hundred pound, probably hundred and fifty pounds. So pig food's gone from two twenty, two forty a kilo, uh, a ton. You could probably pay four hundred and twenty pounds a ton at the minute for, for pig food, and at two twenty, it was difficult to make a living. So when you look at we're selling pork at thirteen pound a kilo, say for a, for a nice crackling joint and two pork chops for say six pound or whatever it is we're charging at the moment after all of that we've done and then by the time we run our butchery our fridges we pay our staff we've got the vans on the road our eco packaging there isn't a huge profit margin in them um they pretty much look after themselves um so it, it is a, it's a very tricky one i do feel for cust for people that haven't got the right amount of customers to make their pigs pay and that are then continuously losing money. Um, for us, we can make a a little bit on them, but it's not the most profitable thing we do on the farm. But 
sometimes can be the most enjoyable things. I'm just going to wander over here just to point you around the direction of the food. Look, stop drinking off the ground. That's it. Wander over there. That's it. We'll sort you a drink out as soon as five minutes. That's it. We're going to feed now. Be happy. Even if I put a drink down, that pig will still drink off the floor. <laughs> so that can be a nightmare for us. So the food he's eating now. So what is that? So that's a few minerals. Um, and then on top of that, this here, we grew this. So this is our wheat and our barley mix, a little bit of straw in there. And we have that milled on site. And then we have different blends. And this one's our pig ration. So, a new boar. Oh, let me stroke him, that's quite good, because we need to become friends. Oh, good boy. A new boar will now get this ration. So, isn't cheap to do. We have land rents, machinery, but we're not farmer shores. So we haven't got a deer to a lot of things. So, we, can, we actually hold our own seed back and drill our own seed. And this is grown without any chemicals i brought in fertilizers so although we're not organic everything that's going into your pig has got zero food miles because well, in fact one wheat field is quiet and down cow one wheat field it's just the other side of the cows there and then all of our wheat is grown within our own village and all of our barley is grown within our own village we're a little bit behind this year with the continuous rain and having our stuff stolen but um but we're getting there but yeah so he will now be the sire of a brambly old, old spot pigs so why is he in his own pen so the reason why he's in his own pen is we could run him with the sows and we have done this practice before but with the sheer costs and us not really wanting to rear any more than you will actually buy and that we can actually sell is we need to time when we have our piglets so that we're ready for them so we have pens ready and we can rear them correctly but also so we don't have all six sows or eight sows or ten sows all mated on the same week because we haven't got the penning available for that amount of that amount of pigs there he is having a good feed again so that allows us to monitor where and this ball will be kept it perhaps only stay here for for a year maybe 18 months and we'll keep back um daughters out of him and then we'll go looking for another boar whether that'll be a boar that we've already got on site or that we'll breed ourselves or whether we'll go shopping and and pick up another one so anyway if anybody wants to name him patrick sambo rufus or gerald then feel free to for perhaps run a competition we do it on facebook as well so and we'll put a name name plaque up for him and um, yeah, he is the resident now stud. As long as he's fertile and he's not scared of the girls. <laughs> but we'll give him a week now to settle down. This will be his pen then. And he'll be the boss in here because the sows are going to be, we might have a couple of gilts his size, but the sows are going to be a lot bigger than him. Um, and he needs to come in here and he needs to feel that this is his. And, and that way we'll make him a little bit more assertive. Um, he'll be able to fight a little bit harder for what's his because they will scrap. They're, they're pretty typical of how they how they respond, but they, the sows do respect the smell and that that comes off of the boar and soon learn to very quickly learn that he's the boss and to tolerate him. But anyway, follow him. Yeah. And we'll speak to you later. Any questions, just put them in the, the messages below and I'll do my best to try and answer them. Thank you. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.